Good evening. How are Good you? Evening. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feeling today? Tonight. <laughs> oh yeah. Ya comenzaron a hacer algo, perdón. No. no. Iniciando. Ay, que apareció un break car home. <ríe> Somos los primeros, Arnold. <ríe> yes. Hi everyone. Hola, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, hello, Good evening. Blanca. Hi. How are you? How was your day? Was it good? How are you? I'm good, Wendy, and you? Very I'm good. Glad. That's good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Have you taken your dinner, guys? Have you eaten dinner? No. Yes. Oh, no. Not yet. <laughs> yes. After yes, class. Ah, okay, Arnoldo, you did. En sí. Blanca, sí. no. Ajá, Wendy. Aún en eso estoy. <laughs> ah, ok. Enjoy your meal. Okay, yes. You, <laughs> ajá, you did. Me too. I eat before the class. Because we okay. finish at 10. So for me, it's very late. Guys, I'm going to take the attendance. And then we, we start the class. So we start with Ana Beatriz Campos. Present. Thank you. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Francisca Elizabeth. Frida Mejía. José Galileo Barrera. José Rodrigo Hernández. Laura Carolina, Luis Alonso Martínez, María Concepción, ok, thank you, María Elena Guadalupe Peñate, no. ok, María Ivania Palma, Nelson, Nelson Gabarrete, no, Omar Francisco Hernández, Oscar Villatoro, Zaira Larín. Present. Thank you. Wendy Zabaleta. Present teacher. Thank you, Jenny. Jane, sorry, Jenny Santos. Present. Okay, thank you. Christian Lazo. Jose Arnoldo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jose Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos Rivas and Mayra Moreno. Okay, well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. I hope you had a good day at work. Hi, Laura, welcome. Nice to meet yeah. you. Hi, hi, teacher. We missed uh, you yesterday. Nice to meet you. Uh, I, I don't know, no puede estar. <laughs> uh -huh. You had a problem to be here. The good thing uh, is yes. that now you are here, Laura. So welcome to the class. My name is Evelyn, Evelyn Marinero. Okay. Nice to meet uh, you. Uh, okay. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we will start with the first activity. I am going to mention three objects and you have to think what they have in common. They have one similarity. So you have to try to find that similarity, okay? Again, I'm going to say three nouns and you have to think what they have in common. Les voy a decir tres nouns y ustedes tienen que ver qué es lo que todos ellos tienen en común, okay? They have something in common. Okay, we will start with Luis Alonso. Number one, dog, rabbit, and pig. 
What do they have in common? Dog, rabbit, and pig. Uh -huh. And there is one more, one more similarity. They, todos los tres nouns que le dije tienen algo en común. You said animals, and it's correct. Son animales, uh -huh. but there's one more thing. Hay algo más que tienen en común. A dog, a rabbit, and a pig. What do you think it could be? That they have a tail. Tail. Um, yes, that could be. They have all that in common. Is there anyone else who has an idea? Any other ideas? What do they have in common? Mm. Anna, Arnoldo, uh -huh. that's the similarity, uh, yes, that's the similarity, living that they the are farm. pets. Mm -hmm. Three animals living in the farm. Correct. Okay, number two, let's continue with Saira. Okay, Saira, now we have Chinese, Russian, and Arabic. What do they have in common? Chinese, Russian, and Arabic. Oh, the, the microphone side. Chinese is, uh, se refiere a lenguaje. Um, is that your answer? Esa es su respuesta. O oh, me pregunta. No, no understand. Ok. What do they, ¿Qué tienen esas tres cosas en común? Chinese, Russian, and Arabic. Do you find something? ¿Les encuentra algo en común? Our nationality. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's the similarity. What is, what is uh, Russian? Hmm? Russian. Russian. I will send it in the chat. Russian. Chinese. And Arabic. Oops, wait. Uh, Chinese. And Arabic. And they are languages too. Languages and nationalities. So that is what they have in common. Yes, Jonathan. Um, they are linguists from Asia, Asia continental. Ah, okay. That's another similarity. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Wendy, tomato, cherry, and blood. Tomato, tomato, cherry, tomato, cherry, and blood. Do you know the meaning of the blood? Meaning blood? Sangre. No. Blood. blood. <laughs> ah, are red. Aha, uh -huh. the color. They, they are color. all red. Yes, Wendy. Thank you. Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Is your connection better? Is this the mejor su Hello? connection? Hi. Creo que sí, Miss. Okay, Hi. sounds good. Table, Pinocchio, and bed. What do they have in common? Table, Pinocchio, and bed. Uh, table. Mm, no, esa es una, una de las cosas, table. Oh, uh -huh. Pinocchio in bed. I will send it in the chat. But do you find any Bell. similarity? Bell. ¿Les encuentra algo en común? 
is a table in bed. Hmm? Is table uh, in bed. Aha, uh -huh. and Pinocchio. Yes. ¿Qué tienen en común? What do they have in common? Oh. No sé cómo se dice eh, patas. <laughs> patas. Ah, que es por pap. Pero Pinocchio no tendría patas porque se supone que es una persona, no, sería, un muñeco. No, sería, no, sería la bed y table. En Pinocchio. Ajá. Son los tres. Ah, pero I'm sorry. No voy a Ajá. Cool. That es is cool. the uh, es madera. Que son de hecho de madera. Made of wood. Correct. That ah, is okay. the similarity. It was difficult because they were totally different. Okay, let's try with Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Diabetes, and I will send them in the chat. Diabetes, cancer, and asthma. What do they have in common? The microphone, Oscar. Uh -huh. No, enfermedad. Aha, uh -huh. do you know how to say that in English? I don't say the enfermedades. Ah, okay. And you guys, do you know that word in English? Enfermedades. Six or six. Hmm? Six. Uh, sick is you. Frida, do you have a comment? Uh, disease, uh -huh, diseases. And there are three forms. Sicknesses, illnesses, and diseases. Diseases, that's the, the other one, the one Frida mentioned. So you have three options to say enfermedades. Okay, let's go with the last one. This is the last one. Let's continue with Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, easy. Snow, sheep, and paper. Snow, sheep, and paper. Easy. Color is uh, white. Aha, uh -huh, the color, they are all white. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Now we will continue in the book. Okay, I'm going to share the book. And okay, here it is. Okay, we continue in unit number one and we will start with the questions that you see over here in groups you are going to answer the questions. In groups, you have to say three ways to contribute to a company's mission. And number two is a personal, it's a personal question. What specific benefits do you provide to the company? En grupos, van a contestar las preguntas que aparecen acá. Number one, da tres maneras de contribuir a la misión de una compañía. En number two, la número dos es más personal. It's more personal. What specific benefits, beneficios, que usted le puede proveer a la compañía? Okay, so that one is a little bit more specific. Choose the company. Escojan ustedes la compañía. Choose the company. McDonald's. Um, eBay, Google, and then mention how you can contribute to the mission of the company. Do you understand or do you have questions about this point? Questions? No? We're clear. Okay, we will work in groups of three. And I'm going to give you a moment so you can create the answers. Ana, you're going to work with Lily and Blanca. And then we will have Frida, Arnoldo, and Jonathan. 
Next, we have Juan Carlos, Laura, and Alfonso. In the next room, we will have Nelson and Oscar, Arnulfo, Wendy. And then we will have Zaira and Jenny. Okay, so I'm going to send you the invite right now. Buenas noches, jóvenes. Hola, Juan Carlos. Buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Fíjese que en este momento estoy eh, en la oficina todavía y están ah. instalando unos aires, entonces están haciendo una gran bulla. Ah, eh, okay. Y por eso que me he quedado afuera, pero igual tengo que estar supervisando. Ok, entonces ahorita no puede pra practicar, no puede participar, eh, no, Juan Carlos. Por, por la bulla, teacher. Sí, correcto. Ah, ok. Ok, está bien. Pero igual estoy Entonces, escuchando lo, lo que está diciendo. Ok, no problem. Okay. Entonces usted nos me avisa cuando ya pueda participar. Ah, y perfecto. por el momento solo trabaja en Laura, en, en Alonso. Ok. okay. Do you have okay. questions, guys? Eh, teacher, solo... <laughs> solo de contestar las la questions o, mm -hmm. o, okay, o repasar Correct. el diálogo. Correct. No, solo las preguntitas. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Can you name three ways to contribute to the company's mission? Y ustedes okay. piensen en, en qué compañía van a, a pensar. Eh, teacher, o, o sea que es, es en, digamos, una compañía inventada por nosotros, no según la lección, digamos. <laughs> No inventada, una que ya exista. Ah, Así okay. como que sea Pizza Hut. Yeah. O... o sea, las tres preguntas enfocadas a una empresa existente y contestar según lo que dice. Ok. Ajá, en English. Ok, teacher. Correct. Ya, vamos a, a poner acá. <laughs> ok. I'm going to visit the other rooms. Voy a ir a ver cómo van los demás. Oh. Cualquier cosa, pues, ven. Me avisa, no, okay, no, no. Me okay, Ajá. Teacher. Okay, see you in a moment. Mejor dictémelo. Hi. Sería. Hi. How are you doing? Teacher, tengo una duda. Lo que vamos a hacer nosotros es la misión o cómo nosotros construir contribuiríamos como empleados a, a una determinada empresa. Oh, las, las dos. Empresa. Ajá, ah. la primera es en general, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. ya la segunda ya es personal. Personal. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque la primera, aunque no tenemos aquí la, la misión justamente, ¿verdad? Para ya que sea más específico. Pueden pensar en una compañía. Pizza Hut, ¿verdad? Podría ser una. Y van a decir cómo pueden contribuir, por ejemplo, a esa compañía. And then what you have. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué tal van? How are you doing? Empezamos. Ah, ok. Ya tenemos, ya tenemos una idea. Ok. I'm going to check the other rooms. And then repeat and check. Okay, see you okay. in a moment. Bye. Okay. Um, opportunity to uh, give opportunity. Give opportunity oh. mm -hmm. Give opportunities. Yes, give opportunity. How are you doing, guys? Do you need some help? Or are you fine? We are fine. 
You're fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to let you continue then. I just wanted to check on you. But see you yeah. in a moment. Goodbye. Okay. Hi, Jenny. Hello, Saida. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How can I help you? Yes, teacher. Eh, la primera pregunta, cuando habla de que, en qué podemos contribuir en la misión, nos podría dar como un ejemplo. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Vamos a hacerlo un poco general. It's going to be general because we don't have the mission of the company. But let's uh -huh. imagine that you work... Let's see. You work on... Okay, Siman. For example, I work in in a sales cell phone company there of technology. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. so what is the mission? Do you know by any chance the mission of the company? Um, proveer, no sé. Bueno, proveer. To provide. I imagine that it's like to provide the best cell phone services. It will be something like that. Cell phone services to the customers. Okay. How could you contribute? ¿Cómo podrían contribuir a esa compañía? A que genere ganancias. So they can earn more money. Mm -hmm. For example, y ahí ya ponen alguna manera en la que sienten que pueden contribuir. Maybe it could be for example, I, I, I think the product or technology product. Uh -huh. Having, uh -huh. we can have the latest technology products. That could be one way. We uh -huh. can provide the best customer service. Uh -huh. And that could be another way you will contribute. Okay. Uh -huh. And the other one, what specific benefits do you provide to the company? That one is personal. La segunda ya es como, ¿qué daríamos uh -huh. nosotros, verdad, a esa compañía? Um, let's imagine, Zaira, I can, I can work with a lot of people. Puedo trabajar con muchas personas. Ese es un benefit para la compañía, saber liderar <coughs> un lugar. Entonces ya sería un uh -huh. poco más personal y pueden utilizar Ken as an option. Ok, thank you teacher. You're welcome. So I'm going to let you continue. Maybe in about two minutes we will return. I'm just going to check okay. other two things. Ok, see you in thank a moment. You. Hi everyone. Business? Have you finished? Ok. No. <laughs> no. For the second part. The sentence. Ah, okay. In the there second sentence. Customer. And do you need help? Do you have questions? For me? I don't need. Um, no. Okay. Well, in about two minutes, we will return, okay, to check the information. Okay, in about two minutes. You. See you in a moment. Hello, Mayra. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Sorry that we we have uh, let you here alone. Lo siento que las hemos hemos dejado solitas. We were working on an activity. Estamos trabajando en, en los breakup rooms. Por eso es que no hay nadie. But they are going to come back. Si quieren, you can work on this. Pueden trabajar ahorita en lo que vienen ellos. They are working on this. Pueden hacerlo con su propia company. Mayra, do you know the, the company's mission? No sé si conoces la misión de tu compañía. Mm, más o menos, la, si no me la puedo inventar. Ok. The idea is that you name... Three ways to contribute. Tres maneras para contribuir a la misión de la compañía. Esa es la primera pregunta que están contestando. En question number two is personal. What specific benefits do you 
provide to your company? ¿Qué beneficios le das tú a la compañía? And that is what they are doing. Me lo pueden mandar por el chat, ¿verdad? Porque ahorita ya ellos vienen en un minuto y vamos a ver eso. But you can send it by chat. Así que eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Mayra en Ivania. Do you okay. have questions? Doubts? Se lo mandamos al chat, teacher. Ajá, aquí en Zoom. En un private message. Cuando ya lo tengan. Uh -huh. You can send it there. Okay, sounds good. Hi, Juan Carlos. Hi, teacher. In this moment, it's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Ya estamos terminan tarde. Es que es un nuevo local a donde nos vamos a pasar, entonces están ah. cambiando, están entrando todo. And when are you moving? Yeah. When are you moving? ¿Cuándo se van a cambiar? Eh, November. Ah, ok. 15. In one month, in a half. Okay. I hope so. <laughs> uh -huh. So you have to work fast to finish, to finish fast. Yes, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> because okay. the night so long to me. Mm, yes, I imagine. So I hope you can finish fast. Okay, okay. welcome you, back Jeff. everyone. I hope you finish. We will check your answers. We will start with group number one. Beatriz, Lily, and Blanca. Okay, can you give me the answer for question number one? Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? I don't know if each one of you is going to say one. No sé si se lo van a repartir una cada uno or just one person. Is going to say all of it. Let's see the mission, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Anna, you're going to tell us. Usted iba a decir la la number one. Lo iba a compartir, pero no se puede meter aquí. Ah, ah, I can do it. Give me one moment. I'm going to let you share. ¿Quién la va a compartir? Blanca. Okay, Blanca, one second. Yes, please. Okay, that is number one. To bring the best flavor with the freshest vegetables and offer the best quality service to our customers. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And question number two, what can you provide, Blanca, to this company? What benefits? Uh, just activate the microphone. Okay. Ah, okay. Um, um, and benefits uh, and your company is a uh, teamwork. And second, you I have rights from the first stand. And three, I can contribute my working and providing a better service and ability on a schools in the learning every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Anna. Can you send them in the chat too? So I can read them. Tal vez me las manden en el chat también y las voy a, a leer un poco más. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Frida, Arnoldo, and Jonathan. Question number one. Who is going to read the information? Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan. Question number one. 
What is the answer? Oh, just the microphone, Jonathan. Uh, first, to communicate goals. Uh, uh -huh. second, second, to give development opportunities, tools, uh, to provide the best work tools. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Question number two, what specific benefits do you provide to the company? Mm, deliver activities on time. Deliver activities on time. Okay, thank you. Do you have only one or each one of you? Frida or Arnoldo? Um, uh -huh. I am looking for a way to provide a, a employee help. Uh-huh, okay, Frida, thank you. And Arnoldo? Search for the best abilities and bring the best uh, service to the customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Frida, Jonathan, and Arnoldo. Group number three, Laura and Alfonso. Okay, question number one. Laura or Alfonso, number one. The mission, uh, uh -huh. uh, provide experience that exceeds the expectation of our client. client. Yeah through innovation and differential service. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Laura. And number two, can you tell me a specific benefits that you give to the company? Estaba con Luis. Okay. Creo que es Luis. Ah, bueno, perfecto. Yes, it's Luis Alonso. Uh -huh. uh, use vegetable fresh, the pizza parts be less fat, the auto service faster. Okay. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Laura. And okay. Alfonso, do you have yours? I don't hear you. Activate the, the microphone. Okay. No se oye. We don't hear you. Algo pasó con el, con los headphones. No sound. No. Okay, yes. Now we hear you. Okay, teacher, sorry. Mm -hmm. What do you... Question number two, the, the benefits that you provide to the company. Ah, okay, okay, teacher. In, in my case, in my case, uh, it's a report. Uh, in my case, mm -hmm. this re in my case, it benefit a uh, report in time to improve performance in in the company sales. Okay, reportes a tiempo que yo elaboro. Efficiency, then. Es una mejor, mejor eficiencia en nuestra venta. Eso es lo que quise decir. Eh, eh, también, eh, to maintain good communication with our client, clients, because uh, they say eh, the best relationship commercial with within with with my with with our customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Alonso. I appreciate it. And then last group, Nelson, Oscar, and Wendy. What is the answer for number one? Hello. Wendy, for number or one? Uh -huh. about the number mission. One. Yes, mission uh, is a travel agency in the, the company. Uh -huh. Travel agency. Uh, mm -hmm. so, yes. Sell travel tickets for travel all the world and sell reservations in the best hotels. Mm -hmm. That's the mission. Okay. Mm, but how do you contribute? Or you, oh, okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. You contribute by selling, selling tickets and the reservations, booking flights. 
Okay. And now the benefits that you provide to the company, guys. Question number two. Uh, my... mm -hmm. <laughs> classmates. The, 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 my the classmates. best benefit uh, I provide the company is finish the goal in the sale uh, okay. ticket. Uh -huh, okay, that's a good benefit. Nelson. Hello. Uh, in benefits is a good training. Good training. Yes. Good training to people, to employees, or to whom? Para quién? Entrenamientos o capacitaciones, está hablando. No. Yes. Yes. He say, he say yes. have uh, training for the. Uh, have the best service the customer. Trainings. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Training. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. Saira and Jenny, what is your mission? Which one did you choose? Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, sería provide a customer service, a good customer service, mm -hmm. provide the best in more clients, and promote the old clients, the product. Mm -hmm. The three, three ways, yes. And the benefits that you offer to the company, guys. Okay. I send constant information by email and social network to many people. Thank you, Saira. And Jenny, do you have yours? Um, I can provide effective sales strategy. Strategies. Strategy. Strategy. In mm -hmm. uh, Vanguardia, uh, how do you say in Spanish, Vanguardia? Mm, maybe you can say that you provide the best strategies the, no, say the latest or the most updated strategies. The Strategy. most, uh -huh, strategies. Uh -huh. And then, or is that it? Um, bueno, quería decir, I can be at the vanguard of phone technology. Um, yes, but we don't use that much that word. Maybe you can look at for another way to say it. Maybe you can say something like that, that you have the, the best and then you give the, the word you want to use. But yes, I will double check and I will let you know if there's another one we can use. Okay, Jenny, thank you. And then Mayra, Mayra, maybe you can send it by chat. And also Ivani, please send them by chat. We will continue. Mayra, los envían en el chat, please, and I will read them there. But we will continue with the conversation. Um, sorry, no. Okay. okay, let's continue. I'm going to read the conversation and then you can practice. So again, we have Andre and Kurt. So it says, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company what? Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, 
I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, now we will continue with you. Let's begin with, with Jenny and Zaira. Okay, Jenny, can you read Andres? Hart and Zaira, Kirk. Okay. Kirk. Yeah. Or how comfortable do you feel working in this sale area? Pretty comfortable. See, with my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. Uh, it sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, thank you, Saira and Jenny. I'm just going to help okay. you with some words. Um, the ones you see in, in pink. Okay, number one, you can say a eh, area, sales area. Can you repeat? Area. Uh huh, area. Jenny? Area. area. All right. And area. this one, comfortable. You can divide it in three sounds. First sound, it's conf. The next one is tra. And the last one, bowl. And then all together, comfortable. Can you try again? Saida? Comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. And Jenny? Comfortable. Mm -hmm. The last one, experience. 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 Correct. Experience. Yes. Experience. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. Now, Lily, Lily and Blanca. Lily, you are Andre, and Blanca, you are Kurt. Oh. Here. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very comfortable. Still, with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. You can do bring to this company as an employee. I will be a great asset in the company because of spending in the construction. 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 construction industry. Mm -hmm. It sounds great. Yes. And because, because of my experience as as, as a manager, I could be of great help in the last project. Okay, thank you, Blanca. I appreciate it. And okay, I will help you with with mm, wait. What was the word? Okay, I only heard this one and there was one more, but I just lost it. Okay, that one is sounds. Sounds. Can you say sounds. it? Uh -huh. sounds. sounds. That's the way sounds. it sounds. Can you say this one one more time? Please. Lily and Blanca. Wood. Wood. Ah, okay. Wood. It sounds like this. Wood. Wood. The L Wood. is silent. We Wood. don't. We don't say it. Wood. Okay. Thank you. Mayra. Mayra and Ivania. Okay, Mayra. You are Andre and Ivania. 
Kurt. Kurt. Yeah. Okay. Kurt. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty com comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say the this could be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I could be a great asset in my company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, thank you, Ivania and Mayra. We will just practice the one the, this four you see here, comfortable. Can you say it again, guys, please? Comfortable. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you. Now let's go with Laura. Laura and Beatriz, Ana Beatriz. Ready? Laura, you go first. You'll be Andre. Me, Andre? Uh, yes. Teacher? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Kir, how comfortable do you feel working in the cell, cell area? Really comfortable. Sir, with my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that look. Can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because in my experience in the construction industry. You sound great. Yes, I because mm -hmm. I'm an experienced as manager. I will be of great help in the large projects. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Very good pronunciation. Do you have um, some questions about the vocabulary, new words. Is there something I can help you with when it comes to the vocabulary? No sé si tienen alguna duda con respecto al vocabulary that you would like to ask. No. No. And you, Nelson? Uh, uh -huh. este, eh, I'm sorry. Sí, en lo que es aquí la palabra, ese es un nombre donde en la, en la primera de Kirn dice Pretty Comfort. Sure. Kurt. Sería la. A no, name. Uh -huh. It's the name of the person, Nelson. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ese es nombre de persona. Uh -huh. o yes. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Okay, if you don't have questions, we will continue and we will answer the questions. We will start with question number one. What do you think about that question, Frida? What would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? What would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? Sorry, what is Kurt? Sorry, could you repeat? What is Kurt? It's the name of the person. Okay. What sorry, be... no, no entendía bien. Sí, ya entendí, ya entendí, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> okay, what do you think about that question, Jonathan? What would be the benefits of having Kurt? Experience. The experience. He has uh, experience. His experience. Uh -huh. um, Are there other benefits or only the experience, um, Jonathan? He knows about industry, construction industry. 
He knows, he knows about the construction industry. industry. Okay, thank you. Is there anything else or is that it? Mm -hmm. uh, he has a manager. He has mm -hmm. his as a manager. Uh -huh. So experience, right? That's, that's his forte. He has experience. As a great a asset teacher. Yes, he will be a great asset because he has experience as a manager in, in the construction industry and in large projects. Okay, so he, he sounds like a keeper. Okay, thank you. Now we have question number two. It is more personal. Try to think about your own comment. Traten de pensar en qué dirían. Do you consider that experience is important? I may not ask all of you, but you can also send your comment by chat and I will read it. But in this moment, we will listen to Wendy. Wendy, do you consider experience is important? And why? Yes, no, why? Mm, maybe, maybe. Why? Why maybe? <laughs> in my case, zero mm -hmm. experience. Experience in mm -hmm. my job. Mm -hmm. And today, Oh, uh, uh, today uh, 14, 14 years in ah. the in you have work. been 14 and years. This is at, yes, 14 years and zero experience in my job. And I aprende, learn, learn. learn. Mm -hmm. The employee, the new employee learn system okay. and all. So you say that experience is not very important. That is what you're saying. For me, for me is como, como, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero es que, o sea, las personas de experiencia traen a veces hasta más mañas, un nuevo, mm -hmm. algo así. <laughs> Entonces That's... se acostumbran a raganear en su antiguo trabajo y quieren a nuevo llegar a raganear. En cambio, uno aprende de, de, de cero. Ok. Cuando llega nueva. Ok, Wendy. Thank you for your comment. Let's see, María Concepción. Hello, by the way. What do you think? Do you consider experience is important? Or is not Good evening, important. teacher. Uh, sorry, me voy entrando a la clase. Así que ah, no ok. Ok, don't worry. Let's ask Lily. What is your answer, Lily? Are you there? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, when the person has experience in a uh, area they are are no lot lawyer he did so much training and it is better for company it's better the experience in the company yeah. okay let's listen one one more comment about this arnoldo do you have a, a comment is that yes, a yes or thing. no and then we listen to yes. Jenny too. Is experience important or not important? Yes, it's so important for not have much problem with the operation to the company. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Arnoldo. And yes, Jenny, we, we hear you. Uh, the microphone, Jenny. Hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes, the, the experience is important, uh, but the attitude is more important. 
because mm -hmm. uh, with good attitude, a person can learn. That's true. Yes, yeah, so it's it's important, right? But as Wendy mentioned, sometimes the experience make people proud. La experiencia puede hacer a las personas orgullosas. Experience can make people proud. And sometimes there is corruption. Hay también corrupción and lies because they know the way it works, right? So it's like you say, the, the attitude, in, it's very important too. Okay, well, we will continue. We are going to study how to use could. We're going to study how to use could and would. We're going to study how to use them. And in the next hour, we are going to practice. Okay, we will practice the use of could and would. Pronunciation. The L is silent. La L no se pronuncia. The L is silent. Could, would. Okay, could, would. The L is silent. We don't say it. Okay. Would and could have many uses. They have many options on the way we use them. But in this moment, we're going to talk about this. We indicate a future possibility. Okay, we're going to use could and would to talk about future possibilities. Okay, you have to use your imagination. Okay, be creative and talk about hypothetical hypothetical situations, okay? Or imaginary, imaginary situations. That is- Teacher, future. Yes, it's oops, food. sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the time. <laughs> oops, uh, future. Thank you, Wendy. So we're going to talk about things that could happen in the future, okay? It could be something that you imagine, you have an idea, okay? An idea about something that can happen in the future. And you create the condition. Okay. We have the condition. And here we have the possibility. I'm going to tell you the structure that we will use, okay? And then I'm going to give you examples. Les voy a dar primero las estructuras y luego vamos a practicar. So, structure. Here we will use simple past. And here we're going to use wood or could in the verb in the base form. I'm going to give you an example. We are going to create the condition. Primero vamos a crear la condición que imaginamos. And let's say this. If I Past tense, right? If I had a lot of money, okay? This is the condition for the situation. And now you can mention something that will be possible in the future. If I had a lot of money, I would, and then would. you mention something. I would buy a big house, okay? It's a hypothetical situation, an imaginary situation. 
Or you can say, I could, and then you mention the verb, I could travel around the, the world. Okay. Another possibility. If we use if for the condition, to create a condition, if I, I, um, well, before, before I continue, there are two options. There are two options about this. If it's a hypothetical situation or an imaginary situation, we use past tense. Si estamos hablando de algo que es hipotético, ¿verdad? O algo que solo estamos imaginando, vamos a utilizar simple past. If it's real, si esa posibilidad es muy real, vamos a utilizar simple present, ¿ok? In the condition part. Si eso puede puede ocurrir en la vida real, es muy posible que pase, you can use simple present. Like this, if I get the job, that, that is possible. If I get the job, and then you mention the possibility. I would be in charge, and then you mention I would be in charge of the company. Okay, it's the same. What is the change that now I'm using present tense? If it is something that you think it's very possible to happen. Si creen que es algo muy probable que sea real, verdad? Que si pueda pasar, utilizamos simple present. Number two. If Jose doesn't work on Saturday, and now the possibility, we could go to the beach, okay? It's something possible. We could go to the beach on Saturday afternoon, on Saturday night. Okay, so I'm going to recap. Could and would. We indicate a future possibilities. Sometimes those possibilities could be real and sometimes they can be hypothetical. Estamos hablando de cómo utilizar could and would, ¿verdad? Para futuros eventos. Pero hemos mencionado que a veces puede ser imaginación y algo que sea muy poco probable, como también algo que sea más real. Vamos a crear la condición using if y depende si es algo imaginario, vamos a utilizar simple past y si es real, Muy real, muy probable, we will use simple present. Utilizaríamos simple present. On the other side, en la otra parte, esa no cambia. Okay, it doesn't change. We use would or could. You can use both of them. Do you understand? Yes? No? Do you have questions? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice. Let's start with unreal. Unreal possibilities. Vamos a empezar con unreal possibilities, que es muy poco probable que pase. Remember, we will use if in past tense. And here, could or would. Okay, let's begin. 
if I go, sorry, if I, um, if I, let me think about a condition. If I had, sorry, yes. Nelson, I thought you had a comment. Okay, if I had three cars, Arnulfo, what could you say to complete the idea, Oscar? I what? could send uh -huh. or I... What could you do? I could? I could you, I could... Uh, Present one car. You give could, the present one car. Ah, okay. You could give away. <laughs> give away one car. That will be a good, a pretty good present. Yes. Okay. Let's go with Jonathan. Jonathan, can you create an unreal possibility? Something that you don't think it will happen. Like if you could fly, if you live in China. If I drive, if I travel to to Brazil. Okay, thank you. If I travel, and we use past tense, right? To Brazil. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Arnoldo, what could you say to complete the idea? If I travel to Brazil, what could you do? Or what would you do in Brazil? I would be fit uh -huh. to the Cristo Redentor. <laughs> that is the, the big statue, right? Esa creo que es la estatua grande. No. Yes, yes Cristo... Sao Paulo. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Arnold. So this is unreal. Who has an idea, an example? Do you have an example in mind? No sé si alguien ha pensado en alguno. An unreal sentence? Do you have one example in mind? Luis? Me teacher. Uh -huh. If I won the lottery, mm -hmm. what would you do? <laughs> I go travel all the world, teacher. Uh huh. I would travel around the world. I yes, sell that tickets. Ah, she sells tickets. <laughs> okay, Luis. Thank you. It's good. Anybody else? Other ideas? Your examples help the class too. Something unreal. Algo que sea muy poco probable que pase. It could be anything. Okay, well, in that case, let's check the next ones. Real, real possibilities. Real possibilities. Okay, you can create the condition if in present tense. And here we use would or could. Would or could. And then you can say if my boss doesn't pay me tomorrow. And now you create the result or the consequence. What will be the result? I could 
pay late my bills. I could pay late my bills. And this is real. Another example. If I have my car tomorrow, I could go to the super market. Okay, so these are some examples about something that is real, very possible to happen. Can you think about one example about a real possibility? Something real using present tense and would or could. Let me know when you have something in mind, please. Um, Arnoldo, do you have any ideas in mind? If my brother have money. Mm -hmm. What would be the result? We dinner pupusa. We can, uh -huh, we can, we, can, we, we could. Can, we can dinner, we could dinner pupusa. Eat, uh-huh, eat pupusas. Yes. Thank you, Arnoldo. That is very real. Thank you. Do you have an example, Jenny? Have you thought about one sentence? Um, if I... If I get up early, mm -hmm. I could I could eat breakfast mm -hmm. in my house. Correct. Yes. Saira or Mayra, do you have one example in mind? Something real. Mayra, not yet. Okay. Uh, let me see. Alonso. Alfonso, I'm sorry. I changed your name, I'm sorry. Do you have one idea in mind? Yes, teacher, mm -hmm. if, 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 if. Lo único que Jenny me robó la que tenía yo, pero. Ah, no. really? <laughs> you think alike, piensan igual. Okay, eh, that's, that's all right. If I don't, if I. Eh, per, per, pero, teacher, puede ser negativa. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Just make the, the auxiliary. ¿En dónde estaría lo negativo, Alonso? In the condition or in, in the in result? My, in the condition. If I don't, if I don't, if I don't take my breakfast, okay. If I don't take my breakfast, uh, more uh, more late more late I have hungry okay I would be well I would be hungry I would be hungry mm -hmm. okay thank you yes if you want to make something negative in past tense you can say if I didn't because this is the negative form in past tense if I didn't uh, live in El Salvador, and then if it's negative, you can say, I wouldn't, you can say would not or wouldn't. I would not. And then you say, I would not eat pupusas on the weekends. That is the negative form in case you want to make something negative. In present tense, yes, if I don't or if she doesn't. Okay, I have here, do you have questions before we practice? 
And guys, the attendance, I didn't take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance right now before I continue. Okay, so we start with Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Francisca Elizabeth. Frida. Present. Okay, thank you. And then Jose Galileo. Jose Rodrigo. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alfonso. Maria Concepcion. Present. Okay. Maria Elena. Maria Ivania. Present. Thank you. And then Nelson. Nelson Gavarrete. Present, Miss. Okay. Present, Omar. Miss. Thank you. Ar Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Os Zaira Larín. Present. Okay. Wendy Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay. Jenny Santos. Present. Okay. Christian Lazo. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Okay. Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay. Juan Carlos Riva. Present. And Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. We will continue here. Do you have questions? I don't know if there is something you would like to ask. Si hay algo que quisieran preguntar. No. Teacher, yo tengo yes. una consulta. Yes, Mayra. Pero no, sea, no me acuerdo, la verdad. Este, yo no me acuerdo cuándo poner, o sea, cómo saber cuándo va a poner el Q y, o el otro, el Q. ¿Usted cómo, cómo identifica? ¿O ahí agarro cualquiera? ¿O cómo es? <risa> ok. Usually, you can use both of them. But, puedes utilizar cualquiera de los dos. Now, would is usually more used for unreal possibilities. Usualmente se va a utilizar más para cosas irreales. Es más para cosas irreales que para cosas reales. But it's like a very slightly difference. Es una pequeña diferencia. You can also exchange them. Like here, if you can look at the explanation, we use would be or could when we want to give the impression of possibility in the future. Como synonyms, Mayra. Como que fueran sinónimos. There's no like a big change. No hay mucho cambio in the meaning. Uh -huh. Solo no como me tenés... si, uh -huh. si lo tenía que usar así como por si fuera tercera persona o algo así. No. Eso no me acordaba. No, no, it's not, it doesn't matter. Puede ser con cualquier ah. subject, Mayra. Yes. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so we continue with point number five. I'm going to give you maybe, I don't know, maybe like four to five minutes for you to send by chat the sentences, but you have to order them, unscramble them. Tienen que ordenarlas because they are not, they are not organized, as you can see. And in about four to five minutes, we will check them together. Okay, so I'm going to give you a moment.
Teacher, en la tres nos yes. falta algo. I'm checking that one. <laughs> yes. We can modify. We can modify one word. We will modify this, this word. Let's choose employees. Instead of using another, vamos a cambiar another y vamos a utilizar employees porque no está bien redactada, number three. So, use employees. How are you doing, guys? Have you finished? Are you, are you ready to check them? Frida, how are you doing? Ready? Me falta uno. Ah, okay. And you, Laura? Not yet. Todavía no. Okay. Okay. Okay, are you ready, guys, to check them?
Okay, I think we will we will start and if you need help, I will I will help you. Let's start with number one. Can you send it in the chat? Let's see if we all have the same number one. I'm going to give you a moment. Lily, I can see it here, number one. And Arnoldo, we can use another. I thought about a way to use it. Si podemos utilizar another. Ya vamos a llegar a esa. And I will tell you the way we could elaborate it. Okay, please send sentence number one. I want, I want, I want the opportunity try to study abroad. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lily. And you guys, can you send by chat what you have? Pueden enviar la number one, como la tienen ustedes, so I can check. Me equivoqué, sorry. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Thank you, Alonso. Okay. Mayra, Maria, send it. What do you have, Mayra? Number one. Yo la tengo así, teacher. How? Good be a oh, great. La estaba escribiendo en el chat ahorita. Uh -huh. Would be a place to study abroad it opportunity. Pero no sé si está bueno. We need the subject. Siempre recuerden que necesitamos primero el sujeto, subject. What is the subject here? It. Ajá. It. 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 Yes. The right ah, pues eso no lo puse, Ajá. Sí, pero lo puse en otro lado. Ajá, that's the behind. So it would, y ahí está aquí a la par. Ahí está el verbo. It would be, and now the complement. It would be great. Great. To study. Uh, it would be a great opportunity. We have the word opportunity. It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. The sentence was very long. It was difficult, confusing. Estaba un poco confusa porque estaba bien larga. And the subject, right? No era una persona en sí. So it would be great to study abroad. Okay. Number, number two. Let's try with that one. Send it in the chat. Number two. Uh -huh. Jenny, you have that, right? Laura, okay. It would be Me come in a palabra. It's okay. okay. Send number two. I'm going to give you a moment and then we check. Okay, thank you, please. Send number two, please. Okay, and let's listen to Blanca, number two. What is your answer? Number 
¿Qué puso usted, Blanca? What do you have in number two? Pero no sé si lo escribo. You can say it, lo puede decir. What benefits a client? The first thing that we need, it's always the subject. Siempre vamos a necesitar primero el subject. What is the subject it's in the this case? Word. Siempre va hmm? a ir entonces. Yeah. A training. Frida. A training. Oh. Ajá, Frida. Okay. Training is a subject. Entonces comienza la oración para todos. A, a training. training to be beneficial. Y luego va could or would. A training could. Eso tenía be, una duda yo. Si tenía que ir eso primero o tenía que ir. Which, cosa, which part? Bien. ¿Qué cosa? Sorry. Entonces, no, entonces no, no siempre va a ir a would. O sea, would. Al no principio, no. Ajá. Primero va el sujeto. El like sujeto here. Después. I could be. And then you continue. Mm -hmm. Pero siempre va a ir un sujeto. Oh. Uh -huh. So, a training could be beneficial. Beneficial. Uh -huh. for, uh, for employees. For employees. Uh -huh. So, that's number two. The next ones are more difficult. Las, de, las que estaban después estaban más difíciles, right? It was... Kind of confusing. Teacher, uh -huh. teacher. Yes. Y el out. Y el nuestro. Ah, out. okay. Uh, give me one second. Let me put it. For our. By ir antes de employees. For our employees. Okay. This part, this part confused me. Mm -hmm. I, and I don't write, worry. They are I difficult. Our employees. Uh -huh. Our employees could be beneficial for a training. Uh -huh. But you added for, agregó, ah, la palabra for la puso de esa manera. Pero uh -huh. no, no iría así, Arnoldo. You have to say a training. Because if you say it like that, you have to change it a little bit. Si empezáramos con employees, Mm, ya no sería igual the meaning the meaning of the sentence okay. no okay, sé si logra repeat how you have it lo voy a poner acá repeat your idea Agnoldo. I write in the, in the chat mm, let me look for it our our employees our employees could be a beneficial for a training. And what do you think it says? ¿Qué cree que dice así? Como usted lo puso. Nuestros empleados pueden ser beneficiados por un entrenamiento o por un entrenador. Mm -hmm. Ok, si lo decimos de esa manera, Arnoldo, tendríamos que cambiar el verbo. No sería el verbi, sino que sería beneficiarse. Our employees could benefit. Benefit. Y estas tendrían que ser así. Of a training. Si es como lo dice. I okay, understand sir. in this moment, but mm -hmm. the, the sentence is, is a confused. Yes, it was. They are difficult. In this moment, it's clear, mm -hmm. but only say my point about uh -huh. the, the sentence. But okay. in this moment, I, you understand, I, I the, understand. Yes, yes, but it was. It was difficult. I completely Thanks. understand. Number okay, three. Okay. Number three was a little bit more difficult. Let's see what you got. Let's begin with 
Zaira, number three, Zaira. What is your answer? Okay. Les, les, oh, les hours mm -hmm. would be working another benefit. Okay, Zaira, thank you. Now let's check with Mayra. Está mala. <laughs> we will fix it. We will fix it. Solo que nos... Bueno, ya vamos a, a ver eso. Mayra, what do you have? Se lo estoy escribiendo en el chat. Sí, ah, chat. ok. You're sending Pero la, se la puedo decir. Uh -huh. A ver. Ok. No sé si está buena igual. Tell Yo me. la puse. La trae para ti. Sería. Will be benefit employees working next hour. Ok. Thank you, Mayra. And guys, please send it in the chat. If you haven't sent your sentence in the chat, send it in the chat. What is the, the verb? I'm sorry, what is the subject? What do you think, Jenny? What is the subject in number three? Less or working will be another benefit. Mm. Teacher, uh, that sounds good. Yo, uh -huh. Teacher, me use uh, benefit will be working another less hour, pero uh, no sé si benefit is a subject. No, it's no. not that one. It's not the subject. The okay. way Jenny said it could be one possibility. That could be one possibility, Jenny. That's that's acceptable. Working in, as hour. Ajá. Uh -huh. that's, that's the subject in this case. No sé si se recuerdan que a veces un verbo puede ser un sujeto. No sé si se recuerdan de haber esa clase que puede ser un sujeto. So, yes, working less hours. And what goes next? Would be. Would be. Ajá. Uh -huh. Another benefit. Uh -huh. would be another benefit. But if you don't have it like that, don't worry. They were difficult and confusing. Okay. Working less hours would be another benefit. Number four, let's check. Ana Beatriz, what do you think about number four? Let's see. Um, I'll have I'll have will be will happen ocean a week uh, a weekends of stuff. Okay, Anna. It's different, but thank you. Ivania and you and guys, please send it in the chat and I will double check too. Number four. What do you have, Ivania? Um, um uh, option is um, will be a weekend a have who happy okay thank you very much let's check with Arnulfo Oscar Arnulfo. Are you there? No. And you, Nelson, are you there? Nelson. Hello. Hi. Number four, Nelson. Oh. Bueno, yo la tengo. Eh, ocho, Golby. I have a eh, weekend good 
happy stuff, no sé. Ok, thank you. I'm going to share it with you. Frida, I don't know if you want to, to say the way you have it here. Number three, me está diciendo en voz alta, pero ahora no se me ocurre algo. Pero sería como to have. To have. Uh, no? But, uh, we can have. Uh, uh -huh. But the idea is that we use all the letters or the words, right? Si lo empezamos así, no los podríamos utilizar todos. I'm going to type it here. It is weekends. Weekends. Oh, can this is the subject. Would, would be. Uh -huh. Would be a good option to. Uh -huh. Good option. It will be like that. Uh, we can so would be. A good mm -hmm. option to have mm -hmm. happy employees. Weekends off would be a good option to have happy employees. And we use all of them. Estamos utilizando todas las palabras. Number five. Let's continue with number five. Teacher, teacher, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yes. In this in this uh, employee is a staff. Ah, yes, sorry. Uh -huh. To have a happy staff, right? To have a happy staff. Okay, sorry. Thank you, Luis Alfonso. And here we have it. Okay, number five, the last one. Blanca, do you have any ideas? No, I for the, the department. Or don't yeah. worry. If you want to, we will try with with Wendy. Do you have it, Wendy? Um, Maria could be. Uh -huh. Could be. Could be. Oh, he's confused for me. <laughs> Maria. Or could be. Maria um, is the subject, yes. Yes. Could be. It's correct too. Could be, that part uh, is correct. Uh, help? No. Oh. I know. Could be. Uh -huh. Could be. And then, Could. yes. Uh, Maria could be helped in the inventory of the great department. Of great help, not like big help, of big help, oh. of great help. Great help. Mm -hmm. Oh, great, great help. help. Uh -huh. In the inventory in, of the department. Uh -huh. In the inventory department. Yes. Oh, no. It confused for me. Uh -huh. Okay, don't worry, we will have a review. Vamos a tener un review al final de, de esta unidad and we can practice this again. And they were difficult because they were very long. Mm -hmm. So that's number five. We, we should have a presentation in this moment. The idea is that we had a presentation. I don't know if we will finish it because there's too little time. So we will do this. We, we, will come, we will start right now preparing the presentation. And on Wednesday, we will give the presentation if we don't have enough time. 
Okay, so prepare a two minute presentation about the benefits you would bring to a new company if you have the opportunity to work on it. On Wednesday, we will have a review. El miércoles vamos a terminar la unidad y vamos a repasar este tema de nuevo. Okay. Las oraciones acá estaban difíciles porque no era un sujeto común como Ana, José, John, sino que fue gerunds, eat, eh, weekends. Había un montón de cosas para confundirse. But we will practice. Lo vamos a repasar. But for now, try to start creating the presentation. Por ahora, empiecen a crear la presentation that you will give on Wednesday. You have to think about the company. Okay, it's a new company and you have to use what we are studying. Okay, would or could. I'm going to separate you so you can start preparing the conversation. And on Wednesday, we will give the presentation. Do you have a question before I send you to a room to practice? Do you have questions, doubts? Si entendemos la presentation, ¿de qué va a ser? Yes. Wendy? Teacher, you say no. Wednesday. Wednesday Sorry, is the presentation. Mm -hmm. Porque por ahora no la vamos a poder terminar. It's a two-minute presentation. No. In groups. Van a... Uh -huh. I'm going to share this again. It's a presentation about benefits. Los beneficios que ustedes le darían a una compañía. Si pudieran trabajar en ella. De eso okay. es la presentation. You choose the company. Escogen la company y empiezan a hablar. Una presentation. It could be similar to what you see here. Something similar to this. This is a conversation, right? Es una conversation, la de ustedes es una presentation. Okay? Like, I would be of great help because I am a manager, blah, blah, blah. Entonces, presentan la compañía y luego Tratan de utilizar would or could. But the press, creo que lo vamos a tener quizás que hacer todo on, on Wednesday, right? Porque ya no tenemos too much time to create it. So we will do it on Wednesday. Then a presentation and we will practice would. Vamos a practicar would and could a little bit more. Okay, but let's yeah. review. Mm -hmm. Teacher, ¿y el grupo yes. o...? No, en grupos. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Yo les voy a dar tiempo para que puedan, puedan crear la presentación y puedan utilizar would and could. Ok, let's practice. Bio. Veámoslo un poquito más. We're, go, we're studying about how to use would and could, right? Let me see. For you, Wendy, what is the confusing part? ¿Qué siente que le cuesta más, Wendy? The order. The order. The order. Ok. Vale. Recordemos el uso que le damos. Vamos a utilizarlo para hablar de cosas que podrían pasar en un futuro. Una idea de algo que fuera posible. Ok. An idea. An idea of something that could be possible, right? Puede ser algo que sea posible en el futuro, pero el sujeto puede variar. No siempre, yo podría decir this, playing the guitar. Do you remember how to use gerunds? Si ¿Sí se recuerdan del, de los gerunds. Que es cuando le ponen ING al verbo y se convierte en sujeto. Yes? No? No. No. Sure. Okay. Ajá. Yes? 
No sé si alguien tenía un comentario. Bueno, vamos a tratar de hacerlo más simple. El, el libro tiene, tiene algunas oraciones que están con, con cosas, no sé, que quizás todavía no las han visto o no las recuerdan, pero pueden hacerlo con acciones. Pero si no, pueden utilizar algo más simple. As an example, eat, eat. Y luego pueden utilizar esto. It would be good. And then you mention something that you would like. Pero debido a, a que está algo confuso, porque sí siento que no, no estamos todavía en sintonía, lo vamos a repasar mejor más a fondo. On Wednesday. En el día de repaso vamos a practicarlo más. Y si quieren, vamos a ir viendo cómo utilizar los verbos, ¿verdad? Como, como sujetos para que puedan crear o elaborar oraciones así. Okay, because for now we have to, we have to finish. But on Wednesday, on Wednesday we will check it a little bit more. Okay, so for now I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance before we go. Give me one more. Um, okay, let me see. Ana Beatriz Campos. Present. Thank you. Ana Lilian Reyes. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Okay. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Pre present. Thank you. Francisca Elizabeth. Frida Mejía. Present. Present. Jose Galileo. Jose Rodrigo. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Alonso. Alfonso. Present teacher. Ok, sorry. María Concepción Cerón. Present teacher. Okay. María Elena Peñate. María Ivania. Present teacher. Nelson Merino. Omar Francisco. And here, Miss. Ok, thank you. Omar Francisco is not here. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Ok, thank you. Zaira Larín. Present Wendy, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Jenny Santos. Cristian Lazo. Present teacher. And Jenny, thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Ok, Mayra. Mayra Ivania Moreno. So for Present the session, teacher. thank you for the session. Wendy, can you stay with me today? Se puede quedar en la session de today? Yes. Okay, perfect. So guys, we will practice on Wednesday. Okay, don't worry. You will get it a little bit more. On Wednesday, we will practice this topic. Okay. So for now, I'm going to let you go. Tomorrow, no classes, right? Because it's Saturday. So I'll see you on Monday. Enjoy the weekend. See you later. Thank you. Thanks. See you later. Bye. 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 Okay, one moment, Wendy. We will wait for your classmates to, to leave the class. Good morning. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> ya es la hora. Okay, one moment. Um, okay, Wendy. Now that we are alone, si quiere yo, si sí. quiere podemos trabajar en este tema. Sí. Para que favor. le quede más claro. <laughs> Vaya, veamos. Estaba tratando de hacer la tarea. Ajá. No Ajá. Vaya, veamos lo de, lo de los verbos, ¿verdad? 
Okay. Okay. Usted a veces no siempre vamos a hablar de una persona. A, a veces podemos hablar de acciones. Por okay. ejemplo, si usted tiene el verbo travel, pero usted sí. quiere hablar sobre eso, la regla dice de que hay que agregarle ing al verbo. Entonces ya quedaría traveling. No es que el verbo esté en progreso, sino solo es una regla para iniciar una oración. Por ejemplo, I want to say things about travel. I can say traveling is um, exciting. Traveling is exciting. ¿Cómo entiende usted esa oración? Mm, exciting, what's the meaning? Exciting es emocionante. Oh. Viajar es emocionante. Mm -hmm. Así es como se interpretaría, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita traveling mm -hmm. es como el sujeto porque de él está hablando. No es una mm. persona, pero es una cosa. Entonces, ¿qué sucedió en, en el libro? Que el libro traía oraciones que traían verbos como sujetos. Por ejemplo, work, it's a verb, ¿verdad? Es un verbo, pero si yo quiero yeah. hablar de esto, podría ser working. Tiene que ser working. Working, little time. Working little time is good for people. Ok, acá este sigue siendo el sujeto. Porque puede llevar como una frase, working little time, working in the academy, working in El Salvador, y luego okay. pone el verbo. Puede ser el verb is o pueden ser otros verbos. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. working in El Salvador. Y ahora utilizo un verbo porque recuerde que working in El Salvador es un sujeto, no es un, es sujeto. un verbo. Entonces okay. voy a usar, usar un verbo acá. Working in, in El Salvador has eh, some... Benefits. Working okay. in, in El Salvador has some benefits. Entonces, okay. which is the verb, Wendy? ¿Cuál sería el verbo ahí? Has. Ajá. Uh -huh. Correct. Este es el verbo. Y okay. este es el subject, ¿verdad? Porque estoy hablando okay. de... So, okay. this is the subject. Okay. Y al final, ¿verdad? Está el complemento. Sí. Ok, bye. Entonces ya teniendo esto en cuenta, ¿Mm? cuando habla de algo que, que puede pasar, podemos utilizar would uh -huh. or could. Sí, sí, yo sé que el would era más para algo que como irreal o algo así, ¿verdad? Ajá, es un poco más para cosas imaginarias y could para cosas más reales. Okay. Sin embargo, okay. los puede intercambiar o alternar, ah, okay. porque no es una diferencia muy exagerada o grande. Entonces, luego de eso, okay. vamos a utilizar un verbo, ¿verdad? Un verb. El mm. verbo que se estaba utilizando ahí era el verb be. Ok. Entonces, la pregunta es, cuando utilizamos el verb be, ¿con qué se utiliza, Wendy? El verb to be, ¿se recuerdan que um, I am, you are. Pero los momentos se recuerdan. Por ejemplo, se sí. usa para hablar de edades. Age, we use ah, it to describe. Ser, ser estar, eh, ¿cómo, des, ¿cómo se llama eso? Ay, ¿cómo se llama eso? Adjectives. Uh -huh. Adjectives, locations. Weather, cuando uno habla de cosas así, utiliza el be. El be. Entonces, sí. teniendo todo esto en mente, uno puede elaborar oraciones que son ya bien complejas. El libro oh. tenía oraciones así, 
Porque uh -huh. tiene el Pete, tiene un, un Jaron y tiene el could be. Entonces uh -huh. yo podría decir working in El Salvador. Vaya, cambiemos la verdad, porque vivimos acá uh -huh. y como estamos hablando de un futuro evento. Imagínese, güey, uh -huh. que le dicen, hay un trabajo en Guatemala que le va a pagar uh -huh. bien. Esa es la situación. Okay. There is okay. um, a new possibility, a job possibility in Guatemala. Okay. Y usted se hace okay. una idea, ¿verdad? De algo sí. que puede pasar. Entonces ya dice usted, working in Guatemala. Uh -huh. Y aquí voy a utilizar... Would or could. Could, could be. Could. Be. Could. could. Porque utilizo el verb be con adjectives. Bien. Yeah. Utilizo el verb be con adjectives. Entonces, working in Guatemala could be good. Y cuando uno va a mencionar una persona, la regla dice que se utiliza for. Working in Guatemala could be good. For my family. And my family. I. And I. Entonces, como yo es primera vez que estoy con ustedes, ¿verdad? Ahorita voy viendo su conocimiento, qué tanto conocen, eh, sí. qué tanto se recuerdan, ¿verdad? Porque es básico 6, ya casi están en intermedio. Entonces, sí, ahorita... Falta. Ahorita que yo vengo, ¿verdad? Me voy ahorita como adaptándome a ustedes y ustedes a mí. Estamos en, en el principio, ¿verdad? Sí, nos falta. Siento que no, no hemos estudiado como debe de ser. Vamos a practicar. Ahorita creo que nos estamos adaptando. Así como ustedes y yo también, ¿verdad? Voy conociendo qué tanto saben o cómo sí. es. Vamos adaptándonos ahí. Entonces, cuando uno yes. tiene todo esto, Wendy, ahora ya uh -huh. puedo formular la oración. El, ex, okay. el ejercicio estaba difícil porque tenía muchas uh -huh. letras. Mire, solo aquí, ¿cuántas sí. hay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Y ya elaborar todo yes. y poniendo verbos con ING y el FOR y todo, eso es complicado. Sí. Entonces... Usted ya puede generar algo así. O si yo le digo, uh -huh. mmm, le doy este este comment. Uh -huh. let's, let's go to the beach. Esta es la situación uh -huh. y usted quiere idealizar algo en el futuro. Uh -huh. Ok, si usted dice, ah, ir a la playa, pues se oye bien, ¿verdad? Se oye como una buena idea. Entonces, si uh -huh. uno va a comenzar la idea con un verbo, porque yo estoy diciendo ir a la playa. Sí. Entonces, tengo que utilizar go, pero no solo going. así. Ajá, tendría que decir going y el complement. Going, to, going the to, the beach. Beach, to the beach. Y si quiero usar un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Para describir lo okay. que... Lo que Sentiría, utilizó be, que es el que estaba ahí. Would be yeah. a good idea. Y si quiero mencionar para quién va dirigido esto, entonces pongo for, for y ya digo quién. Me. Por mí. ¿Puede okay. tratar de hacer una utilizando would be? Wendy. Mm, veamos. <risa> Veamos. Uh... Le voy a dar la situación, si quiere, para hacérselo okay. más fácil. Ok. Ok. We want you to be a manager. Queremos que trabaje okay. como manager. Ok. Uh... Ser. Work. Working. Mm -hmm. Working the manager. Así. As a manager. Working as a manager would be, would be uh, excellent, 
excellent experience. Experience. Uh -huh. An excellent, excellent experience for me. For me. Correct, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Entonces, así quedaría. Mm -hmm. Ahora, mm -hmm. si no uh -huh. quisiera poner todo eso, existe la opción de su sustituir el sujeto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Todo esto lo puedes sustituir y utilizar it. Solo el it. Pero Ajá. Permítame, estoy, estoy tomando nota. De todo. Estoy tratando de hacer, estaba tratando de hacer la, la tarea, uh -huh. pero no toma, como que si no, como que algo pasa a veces en la plataforma. Mm, a ver qué será. Uh -huh. o, o no sé si no he incluido todas las letras, como sé, todas las palabras. A saber. Porque Ay, si lo pues puse y se supone que iba a vaya todas las palabras, no bueno, me salió. Si Tuve no, cierra la, la vuelve a abrir, tal vez eso le, le ayuda. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Going And... to the page. Uh -huh. Entonces, lo que le quiero decir es que si no quiere poner todo el verbo, ¿verdad? Sí. Lo puede sustituir por it, working as a manager. Uh -huh. Y solo pone it would be an excellent uh -huh. experience. Era verdad. Sí. For me. Or for you, or for Roxana, for John. Entonces, ahora, si usted analiza el sujeto, no estoy utilizando personas. Sí. Sino que estoy utilizando eh, verbos. verbs, pero es un sujeto. Mm. Entonces... Vamos a hacer un review, como les comentaba, ¿verdad? Porque sí, sí noté que, que todos, la mayoría, ¿verdad? La mayoría no, sí. no quedó bien, no quedó claro el tema, lo noté muy bien. Entonces sí. tenemos que reforzarlo. Pero ahora que ya, ya tengo como un poco más de conocimiento, creo que lo voy a explicar quizás de esta manera, explicando lo de los gerunds, el, sí. el uso del verb be, ¿verdad? Probablemente ya. lo hemos visto, pero no pero se, pero se olvida. Ajá, se olvida. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, creo que les voy a explicar an antes de eso, ¿verdad? Los, esto del verb y el sí. ing. Creo okay. que ya con eso ya les va a quedar más. Ya claro. más, más claro. Uh -huh. Sí. Así creería. Ok, Wendy. So, in that case, okay. we will stop here. Nos vamos a quedar acá. No sé si terminó okay. de, de anotar o le faltaba. Eh, solo el, el B que se ocupa para, e, para age y para ¿qué otra cosa era? Locations, Ay, weather adjectives, adjectives locations and weather ok, uh -huh. ahí está hoy sí ya terminé okay. hoy sí ya le queda un poquito más claro ya me queda un poquito más claro ok, <risa> vamos a reforzarlo la próxima semana Okay. Bye. Vamos a practicarlo ahí. Ok, Wendy, okay. have a good night and enjoy the weekend. See you. Thank, thank you. You're See welcome. You. Blessings. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you.